The Coin Lady channel is pleased to have you back. XRP is currently trading at just under 47.5 cents, everyone. People are acting as if the world is ending again because the market is supposedly plummeting, even though we're only moving three pennies. For this reason, I insist that you cease behaving like a retail investor and begin to identify your holdings. Because XRP is now trading at a steep discount, its value will inevitably explode in the near future. We are all aware that it is imminent. You really believe it's underappreciated? The fact that XRP is priced so low has even baffled Brad Garlinhouse. According to what he has said, it is in a unique situation. Up until now, the market has failed to recognize that. He fails to see the rationale for a relatively low price. That is also the current thought process of every single retail investor. We can observe connections taking place in every corner of the globe. I believe now is the moment to keep accumulating, even though there has been no change in pricing. Reason being, we are fully aware that what is about to transpire is going to be nothing short of spectacular. When that moment arrives. That is why I've been harping on the subject of not selling your XRP for so long. I'm sick of holding XRP, and I see people stating that every day. My plan is to liquidate my XRP holdings. I am okay. At the moment, this coin is pulsating. When I tell people about my work, for example, if I happen to run into a client of my security firm, they often ask, what do you do for a living? Furthermore, I inform them that I discuss cryptocurrency on my YouTube channel. Are you an influencer, then? I'm trying to convince people to hold on to XRP so they can take advantage of the next big opportunity, but I'm not actually that person. And the strangest thing is that I've been getting a lot of questions about cryptocurrency recently. People I had a conversation with about cryptocurrency approximately two years ago are suddenly asking me about it. Reason being, crypto's future is becoming more apparent to the general public. My only goal is to see you through to the end. Assisting you in reaching that goal is my top priority. Smoke is the source of this. It's the quiet before the storm, JP Morgan. This is something that the biggest banks feel strongly about. Amidst retail's claims that nobody knows what's going on with research, they are quietly investing with the best data available so that you may enjoy the calm before the storm. As one of the first assets to recoup, cryptocurrency has an optimistic and promising future. Perception is key to seeing through fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That's why I keep urging you to disregard the FUD, disregard those who disagree. You could go on X right this second and publish an article about XRP, demonstrating how it would transfer funds globally, since there are so many people there. Yeah, but just look at the XRP price, many will respond immediately. You have to have the mindset of an institutional investor if you want to be one of the top 1%. The other 99% isn't going anywhere, so stop acting like they are. It is accurate. That is why I keep stressing that you should not consider yourself a retail investor. Identify your possessions. The next time you consider selling your XRP, review all you've learned so far. Return to the beginning and examine the web of relationships that rippled outwards. Take a look at the many payment rails that are in place for Ripple within BRICS, the Fed, the ECB, the BIS, the IMF, and any discussion of X or pay. That's the future you're holding. Smoke from June 11, 2020, also contributes to this. We are transforming physical products like Rapid Visa into digital ones, similar to Ripple, for the benefit of institutional investors. These investors are becoming increasingly tech-savvy, and they are showing their support for real-world use cases by investing in specific startups. Pay attention. However, there are a plethora of instances where investments have proven to be highly fruitful. And I won't bore you with the details, enough it to say that there are valid reasons to capture a lot of value. As I indicated before, the most important thing is to have the necessary infrastructure in place to facilitate the digitalization of financial and commercial transactions. Companies like Kraken, Anchorage, Fireblocks, and so on are responsible for creating it. We have investments in all of the digital custodians, wallets, and marketplaces that we showcase here. Considering the value of goods, services, and capital. 
The converse is also correct. Digital versions, dubbed Ripple or Yellow Card, are replacing older payment systems like Swift, Visa, or MasterCard. Even we've been digitalized. Take. Take note of his statement that you are upgrading your Visa to FAST. Ripple is addressing the back-end issues at Visa and MasterCard, as previously mentioned. Plus, we're making strides towards the digital era. This is a Cypriot thing, people have a habit of putting too much stock in these things when they're new, but then letting their guard down when they're old. People are constantly trying to convince you that banks will never use XRP and that XRP will never function with them. However, everything is already in motion behind the scenes. All the necessary infrastructure for the new monetary system is being put in place as banks move into the digital era. And the truth is, we still don't fully grasp just how massive this is. With the right knowledge, XRP can be seen as a simple three-digit asset, and with patience and perseverance. As a four-digit or even five-digit one. Both of these originate from ISO 222. I say we do it. 10. Starting from June 30th, exchanges operating solely in Europe could face fines of 1 billion euros or higher. You can see the magnitude of Nico's compliance right here. Take a look at the non-compliant exchanges that Nance has identified. Big Coinbase's Bitstamp Phoenix, Crypto.com HTX, Kraken Q Coin, and OakX, as I mentioned before, the exchanges aren't foolproof. Imagine if they can't adhere to MICA requirements, the EU would ban them from doing business. The bright side is that I am a proud owner of currency from another exchange. LCX is the name of it. Completely regulated, will also pass legislation pertaining to MICA, and there will be a modification regarding exchanges as well. I believe that several exchanges will go out of business once crypto regulations are established and MICA is implemented. We are approaching the final phase of a global currency's life cycle, according to Black Swan Capitalist. Hold gold, silver, and digital assets like XRP, XLM, and Stronghold, when the financial system collapses. Bonds will skyrocket and wipe out vast quantities of money. To add to that list, he adds I will as well. Bars height multiplied by LM visit Nexera at QNT Algo IO. Anybody with a large amount of fiat will be completely destroyed when this system fails. Plus, that will occur. It's coming, they say. But you won't hear about it in the national news. This is why no one wants to believe it. There was widespread fear that the U.S. currency might suddenly plummet after we abruptly severed ties with Saudi Arabia over the petrodollar arrangement. Even I mentioned that it won't happen immediately. It will happen gradually, in my opinion. The video ends there. Support my channel with a like and a subscription. Muchas gracias, depart.